All right. First character, first character that I personally think is still top one. I kind of despoiled. Just put the picks in the list, bro. True. All right. First character, my personal top one, still Johnny Cage. Mm. I know. I know. People are going to say it's Homelander. I know. I know. Hear me out, bro. Hear me out, bro. Look. Homelander's fucked up. Homelander is fucked up. 100%. So, 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 so fucked up. Your camera's too big. Ooh, wait. Ooh. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me do it like this so the list isn't... Yep. Yep. Why is it... Mmm. W production value. There we go. Okay. Um. So, yeah. I think Homelander is really broken. Like, don't get me wrong. He's cheap. But... I don't think he's as consistent as Johnny Cage. Like, I just think it's... It's not really possible for him to be as consistent because he's, like, more of a mix-up character. Obviously, like... Johnny's been probably top one for a while now. Homelander's pretty much the same level. But I think Johnny's just a more consistent character. Better buttons. Um, his defense is better. His mids are better. Um, he's just, like... For well, the way this game works, I still think Johnny's a little bit better. He's like technically like less cheap, but he's just more consistent. So that's why I would put him there. And his best cameo at the moment. What is his best cameo, bro? Like it's probably Chameleon still. Like I know Farah is really good for him too, but I still think Johnny Chameleon is probably still the best. Like he honestly works with like 90% of the cameos, but if I had to pick one... I would probably say it's Chameleon. So let's just say Johnny Chameleon top one. Johnny Chameleon slash Johnny Farah, one of them. Like, I don't know about Farah with him. I haven't really seen it, like, truly cool. Can you put two there? Oh, that'd be sick. Oh, wait, this is us. So if someone has multiple cameos with the same team, you can't put them back. You can't keep, like, duplicating it. Oh, that's us. Wait, that's us. What if I need, like, 20 Farah te teams? Hey, that's kind of us, no? I don't know how it works. I don't know. But yeah, that's how I would start it off. First character, Johnny Cam. That's probably my top one right now. Now, second, the man himself, Homelander. I mean, they're pretty much tied. Like, they're low-key tied, true? They're almost tied. I just think if I was picking one to be, like, the best, I would say Johnny. But, like, these are basically, like, tied. It's pretty much no difference. Homelander, probably the best mix-ups in the game. Definitely the best mix-ups in the game. 100%. Um, he's doing like 40% from a command grab. Like, or like 35% from a command grab. He's literally vortexing you with Janet. Like literally vortex, true guessing. Can't really get out of it. So I would say just for that alone, especially with his damage. Probably top two. Probably top two. Like I don't know how he is in the entire meta but from what i see at the moment he's like winning so many tournaments he's probably got a lot of good matchups too um i could see him having a couple of bad matchups but i don't think it matters because of how good his mix-ups are yeah he's he's literally giving you like 33 33 33 mix-ups like three-way mix-ups of any string and you get vortex into the same thing so i mean do we even need to say anything else like his best cameo what even is homelander's best cameo it's probably Janet or Farah. It's one of the two. It's probably Janet, honestly. I would probably say Janet's better, but Farah's really good too. Like, I can't put them both there, but it's like Farah or Janet. I think they're both really strong for him. Farah might be better, but I'm not really sure. Farah, Chameleon, Janet, they're all like really good for him. Oh, it does go away. Okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Reiko number four behind Kenchi. Mm. I don't have beef with Sekenda, so I don't. I'm not doing a beef set if I don't have beef, bro. What kind of fourth beef set is that? I'll play him if I ever get the chance to, but like I have no beefs though. But when I'm in America, I'll play him because the connection will be playable. 
All right, guys, who do you think is next? Let's hear it in the chat. Let me see what the chat says before I put my next one in there. I already know who I'm picking, but like, I just want to see what you guys say. Let's see how smart the chat is. Kenji, Tanya, Sindel, Tanya, 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 Sindel. Mmm. Guys. No, nah, I'm not letting the chat influence me. I just want to see what people say. I already know who I'm picking. I'm not going to lie. I already made this tier list before I streamed. So that like I didn't let the chat influence me. So I'm kind of just converting what I already made. To like. But like actually speaking about it. Alright. Chat. Some of you are right. Some of you are wrong. I think both of the opinions are pretty valid. But top three. In my opinion, Sino is next. Definitely, definitely not Kenshi. 100% not Kenshi. The way people look at Kenshi right now is really weird. Like, Kenshi, oh, Kenshi is such a weird character, but like, we'll get to him later. But yeah, I think Sindel is probably top three. She has pretty much everything you could want. Like, she's pretty good by herself. She's really good by herself. If you've seen her with Lau, Tremor, uh, what other cameos is she really good with? I mean, they're like the best two, right? Lao, Tremor, is that what I'm forgetting? Cyrax, oh yeah. Sindel with Lao, Sindel Cyrax, Sindel Tremor, like. She's really good by herself already, and then she's just even scarier with those cameos. She's pretty much doing the same thing she's been doing for the last, like, one year, almost. But, she's still, like, doing the exact same thing. She still gives you the hard to blockables. She's really good by herself, some of the best neutral in the game. If not the best neutral in the game. Like, Loki, she might have the best neutral in the game. I don't know if that's worked, but, like, I actually think she's probably got the best. Because, like, her down three is, like, impossible to whiff punish. And her forward one is pretty hard to whiff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Sindel is really cheap. Pretty much wins everywhere on screen, except for, like, point blank. And, and she has really good set play, too. Gorp has better neutral. Mmm, possibly, possibly. Definitely like top two neutral, maybe tied with Scott, but somewhere around there. But definitely in my top three for sure. And I would say, if I was picking one cameo for her, I would honestly still pick Lau. Lau or Tremor, probably tied. If I had to pick one, definitely one of those two. I don't even know which one is better these days, but... Cyrax is like a hidden sleeper too, it's top three cameo for her. But I would probably still say it's Lau, Tremor, Cyrax, one of those three. Let's just say Tremor for now. I don't know. I really don't think it matters which cameo you play if you pick one of those three. Like, I think you're chilling. But definitely Tremor or Lau. You know, Tremor, if you guys haven't seen it, it's so cheap. So cheap. So, so, so cheap. Tremor is crazy uh, with Sindel. Actually insane. All right. Now, the other character everybody was saying, my main character, Tanya, top five for sure. People talk weird about this character, but I mean... There's no denying it. There's no downplaying this. Tanya definitely top 5. Um, not really anything too crazy mix-up wise, but her buttons are so good. Her armor is like probably the best armor move in the game. Like it's literally... I know Astro's is like kind of technically better on paper, but... Tanya's is definitely a better armor move overall in my opinion. Even though like you can... I mean, yeah, that's it really. There's not even else. I think her armor is better than Astro's. Um, Lao's got the best. Not really, because you can jump Lao, it's easy. You can't really jump Tanya's because she'll just fly away. So like, I think hers is actually better. Um, so yeah, she has probably the best mid in the game. Definitely the best mid in the game. Um, really good conversions. Her buttons are great. Her projectile is really, really good. Um, her defense is really good. She has a parry. She has a good armor move. She has pretty good matchup spread as well. Like If you look at her bad matchups, I couldn't really even tell you maybe more than like two and even then i'm still not even sure like she probably doesn't even have a really bad matchup to be honest her damage is the only thing that she's like lacking on with most cameos she's like lucky to get like 35 ish 40 max like on a good cameo that's purely for damage but to be honest her damage is actually terrible but it doesn't really matter because she's like chipping you out all the time she controls the screen really well so like you're you're kind of like always in a deficit against her but her damage is pretty low. That's the only thing. And she doesn't have any good mix by herself. Like, that's the only problem. But it doesn't really matter in the, like, big picture. So, 
I would say these four characters are definitely the best four. And the most consistent. Like, for sure. And I'd say Tanya's best cameo right now, for sure, is Farah. Goro is still a second, though. Like, Tanya Goro is still so good. I, I know people see Farah, and I think it's really good, and it is. But I honestly think Goro is, like, the same, and potentially even better. Like, I don't know. Like, it's weird. It's weird. Tanya Goro might still be better, honestly. Because... There's actually some small answers to Tanya Farah. But there's no like counterplay to Tanya Gore except blocking. So I don't know. I could see Tanya Gore being better here, but we'll just put Farah there for now because that's like the meta at the moment. Please downplay Baraka. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. All right, Javier, you might want to look away for this one. Javier, you might want to look away for this one, buddy. You might want to turn the stream off for this one. You might want to turn it off for this one. Ha <laughs> ha. Guys, guys, Javier, turn the stream off for the next five minutes, all right? Top five, hear me out. Next character, Scorpion. Mm, woke take, it's woke take, trust me. Trust me, woke take. Woke take, all right? Trust me. Trust me. Aha! Worst take I saw. It's true, bro. Javier, it's true, bro. Look, look, look. Is there really... How do I even start with this character? Like... Loki, Scorpion, can Scorpion carrying now. Lopian not top five. Scorp Reiko, I genuinely think Scorpion's better than Reiko right now. Truly. Truly. Okay. Okay, let's talk about this. Let's actually talk about this. Lopian hasn't won a tournament. <laughs> Scorpion better than Lou? 100%. 100%. Lou fell off, bro. By the way, like, the percentage of, like, this this character being here or here is, like, 5-10%. It's, like, barely any difference, but... Okay. So, Scorpion, I'm only talking about Pharah, by the way. Like, if we're talking about any other cameo, maybe Mataro is decent, but... Scorp, Pharah, definitely, in my eyes, top 5 team right now. Because... I think this is one of the most consistent teams in the game. If you look at his matchup chart, it's pretty damn good right now. Um, his damage is so good with Farah. His mix-ups are actually legit with Farah. Back three is probably like the best button in the game with Farah because he has also got the best anti in the game. I don't know. Like the way I see Scorpion now is you're forced to play his game 24-7. The only thing that is missing, I guess... Actually, he's not missing anything. Is Scorpion missing anything in this version of the game? Like let's actually talk about it. I guess he doesn't have, like, amazing stuff by himself. That's probably the only thing. When he's got no cameo, he's kind of, like, a little worse than some of these characters. But he's still, like, really, really strong. Um, he doesn't really need all of, like, the crazy mix-ups by himself. Because the synergy with Pharah is insane. Um, he has the ability to, like, truly vortex you with Pharah. He does throw combos that do, like, 29%. I don't know, like... He needs better frames, Javier. Javier, I'm about to ban you if you say one more thing that Scorpion needs. But yeah, I mean... For sure, Farah is his best cameo. I think we've all played Combat League and seen Scorp Farah lately. Everyone's seen it. Everything is minus. Okay, let's look at Tanya, frame data. Tanya has one thing that's plus on block. Ooh. And it's only like plus one. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Come on. Talk to me about that. Ooh. Talk to me about that. Lao better than Scorp. Hell no. Nah. I haven't seen Scorp in KL once this season. Not played KL. Well, that's why you haven't. I don't know, look, 
This is just my opinion, alright? Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I'm just the messenger, okay? It gets a little weird from here, because, like, I feel like, to me, this is for sure all of my top five. And it starts to get a little awkward at this point, to me. Like, after these five, I kind of, like, not... Like, after these five, I'm not 100% confident on exactly where I think everything else stands. Like... If I was really, like, just committing to the list... I don't know if I'm tweaking for this. Is this a tweaking spot? Like, let's see. I want to see the feedback. Am I tripping for this? I'm going to put it there anyway. I don't care. But, like, am I tweaking or no? Nah? Reiko maybe instead. Maybe Reiko instead. It's like Natara slash Reiko here anyway. But, I don't know. I feel like right now, Natara is kind of weird. Like, I don't know. Like, the damage itself, when I see the damage, I'm like, yeah, this is broken. But then when I look at Natara by herself, she's like still like low key like terrible. So it's like it's somewhere in it's somewhere around here, true. Like I don't know how good she is overall because I'm like low key just basing this off like combat league. <laughs> but that's why I'm not sure where I would really put her. Like in tournament, how crazy is she? Like I don't know. So maybe she's actually here. And maybe the woke play is actually put Reiko here. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe I'm aware. Maybe I'm aware. <sighs> it gets weird here. It gets weird. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I really would say these two are, like, around somewhere here. Like, like is Reiko as good as these five? Probably. Like, these three... Like, this is ordered. So, let's say it... Hold on, let me edit this name. Or ordered. Like, this is actually where it gets weird. You gotta actually think about it. If this is ordered... Or just like S plus. Like Loki, are they their own tier? Reiko's gotta be here though. Like he's so Reiko is messed up, bro. Like are we sleeping on Reiko? I don't know, I gotta think. I actually gotta think here. I actually gotta think here. Let me put Natara away for a second. Like are we doing S plus then S? Okay, let me actually think. Now, nah, Reiko's got to be up here. I'm putting him there. I don't care. I don't care what people say. I don't want to hear it. What, what Reiko players say. I'm putting him up there. Most woke tier list takes. Hold on, let me do mine before I get... I don't want to get bias from other people. Yeah, I'm going to put Reiko here. If I'm putting Scorpion here, I'm putting Reiko here. I think that actually makes sense. Like... If I really think about is Reiko as good as Scorpion, I'll probably say yes. So I think that's pretty fair. Uh, Tremor also just got buffed, which is nice for Reiko. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but I would say for sure Reiko Tremor is his best team. If we actually think about Reiko's tools... Wait, why is Tremor just sitting there? <laughs> yeah, how do I delete this? Yo! There we go. Okay, let's actually think. Oh, no. Facts, you If Sonic said this tier list, so everyone would be glazing. Facts. Um, okay. Reiko has a full combo command grab with Tremor at basically any time. Assuming, like, Tremor's there, obviously. His neutral is amazing. He's got constant mix-ups by himself without a cameo. Good frame data. Good damage. Great comeback factor, if not the best comeback factor in the game. Probably besides Homelander. True. Like, if Reiko has Fader Blow, he's doing like 55% command grab combos still. Uh, I don't know about his matchup chart. That's one thing I'll be honest. Like, I would be lying if I said I knew about his matchup chart. But if I was thinking about counterpicking Reiko, 
it'd probably be like a Mataro team. Like Scorp Mataro or something Mataro. Or something with sub cameo. Okay, Mikey, so what do you think I'm saying? So what, everything I'm saying is just not facts, but everything Sonic says is facts. <laughs> you got it, bro. Now you got it. Breakers, like, yeah, like this little, like, top, like, this second section of the S tier could, like, kind of be moved around low-key, like, they're very, very similar in tier placement, to be honest. Um, okay. Am I putting Natara here? Like, let's be honest. Natara by herself, she's not there. Like, all of these characters are pretty good without a cameo, but is Natara good without a cameo? Mmm. I might be woke, bro. I might be woke, bro. Yeah, she needs a cameo, true? I would actually put her at A tier. I don't think, I don't think she's, uh... I don't know. Scorpion is good without a cameo. What do you mean? His neutral is insane without a cameo still. Like, Natara, like, I mean, Scorpion neutral without a cameo is still insane. Cameo less Scorpion. What do you think your character. Bro, what do you think your character is? What the fuck do you think? Scorpion plays. What do you think your character is? Honestly. Like, are we, are we talking about the same character? Every character needs a cameo to be competitive. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about when they like when they don't have cameo available. Like, let's look at this. Johnny without a cameo available, good. Good buttons, still good pressure. Homelander, same, still doing the same mix-ups. Uh, Sindel, good. Tanya, good. Neutral's good. Uh, Scorpion, he's... Bro, we're not... Scorpion players, bro. We're not doing Spear and Hellfire like as our neutral, are we? Is that what we're doing? You guys have like the top three buttons in the game. Dan 2 is one of the best buttons in the game. Back to one of the best anti in the game. Oh my. And Ferris coming back in like two seconds anyway. Why is Tanya not in S? She's literally right there. She's number four. Oh my god. Good luck for 20. Yeah, good luck bro. Good luck. I'm starting to see a trend here with Scorpion players. No, I'm seeing a trend. I'm seeing a trend. Okay, I'm really not sure about Natara. Like, I, I don't even want to say she's here because I don't know if I really feel that. I would probably put her, like, somewhere here. I'm going to put her in A because I genuinely don't know. Like, if I was picking, committing to the list, I would put her here, not in S. So, I might be downplaying, but that's just how I feel. I don't know. Maybe a little overhyped. I'm not sure. Definitely a really good team. I mean, really good character with Farah. I just don't know enough to say she's S, but I'll put her here. The damage is crazy. Trust me, I believe this damage is crazy. Like, the damage here is insane, but I don't know. I just don't know how good she is, like, when the cameo is on cooldown. I don't know. I feel like it's not good enough. This is how I'm feeling, though. This is how I'm feeling. Not 100% sure on this one. I will say her damage is insane. I just need to probably know more about Natara before I could really put her up here. Like, this could easily change in, like, a week. <laughs> you can spam a safe launcher. Yeah, but it's one bar. I mean, it's still really cheap. Don't get me wrong. But, like, how hard is it to block Natara? I don't know. Online or offline? I think all of this is pretty much the same offline so far. True. I think Scorpion actually offline a little bit worse. Scorpion offline? Mmm. Nah, I don't know. I don't know. Scorpion offline is actually definitely worse though. Homeland of Farrah, easy top one. Kenshi top tier? Nah, nah, nah. Kenshi is not S tier, guys. Hear me out. Okay. 
Now, the next tier is not going to be completely ordered because it kind of gets a bit weird here where I feel like the next 10 characters could all be moved in a very similar order. Like, I feel like only the top six right here are like definitively in my eyes top six. Um, I don't really feel like the next... I don't know. The next like row is just kind of weird because it kind of like doesn't exactly matter. Like there's just a lot of... Uh, they're all very similar here, in my, in my opinion. Okay. Now, let me look at the roster real quick. Let me think. Who do we have here? Who do we have left? Damn, we got a lot of characters. Bruh, Kenshi is not top five. You're telling me Kenshi is going to win more consistently than these five characters? Hell no. Hell no. No chance. No chance. No chance. This must be bait. <laughs> Not bait, bro. Look at tournaments, bro. Loki, look at tournaments. Like, Loki, Kenshi gets fucked up in tournament. Loki. So, like, trust me. I, I agree when Kenshi, Sento, corner, broke. 100%. Nah, Loki, I think Kani just carrying. I think I think Kani just carrying. He's not doing anything that crazy. Like I think he Loki just he just uh he's just carrying Kenshi in a couple good in the couple in the right matchups. But anyway, like you guys are saying where's Kenshi? Like, bro, he's literally in my next two characters. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> um, okay. Let's actually just keep it going because the chat's fucking distracting me. But like, Kenshi is in my top 10. He's just not in my top 6. Okay, let's look. Let's look. Let me think. No, I know. I know, Bookworm. I'm agreeing with you. Uh, we'll check the Twitter comment in a minute. Uh, this is where it gets weird. It gets so weird now, bro. Uh, let me think. All right. Low-key, curious to see what you guys think about this one. Hear me out. Hear me out, bro. Hear me out, bro. Is this, a, this isn't even a hot take. What am I doing? What am I saying hear me out? Like, this is facts. Like, this is actually facts. Like, low-key, this might be facts. Yo, Fatal! Thank you so much. Hear me out as nobody disagrees exactly. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why I said hear me out. Like, this isn't ordered from here. Okay, let me write that. Not o A, not ordered. Lou is not... Lou is not... How is he kind of honest? How is he kind of honest? How is Lou kind of honest? He has... He has, like, one of the best story combos in the game. One of the best mids in the game. Plus frames from his jab string. Like, what world is Lou honest? Now, the only reason I'm putting Johnny here is because I think consistently, I think he's still better than most of them. Compared to the rest of the cast at top five, he's kind of honest. Uh, not really, bro. Let's look at this. Okay, let's say he's, let's compare him to these then. Compared to Tanya, Tanya has a good, a really good mid. And armor launcher. Lou Farah, Lou Chameleon has a really good mid, armor launcher, and throw combos. Like, how is this not honest? Like, I mean, how is this honest? Tanya's not faster than Lou. His mid is literally faster. Now, you can get Shimmy by forward 4. It's kind of like weird to explain, but you can. Anyway, I'm putting Lou here. I think Lou is really, really good. His fireball, air fireball is amazing. If you're playing uh, Lou Mataro, amazing neutral actually, because you can't actually hit him. He literally gets run away the entire time. 
I don't know if you guys have seen Lumitaro since the update, but he's actually really, really strong. Honestly, he definitely fell off a little bit because of like just other characters coming out. But I still think he's really good. Even without Mataro, like he has so many good cameos. Lu Chameleon's still really good. Lu Lao, Lu Mataro. Like, bro, he's got a lot of good cameos, to be honest. But um, if I had to pick one these days, oh man, it's it's either Lu Mataro or Chameleon. I don't even know. But I actually I'm gonna say Lu Mataro might be his best. Low key. Like, might be his best. Lao's still really good. Chameleon's still really good. Like, I don't know. It could be any of them. It doesn't even matter. But I'm going to put him there anyway. Lou Ford 4 is different online? Nah, I don't think so. I, I think, I think, I mean, you won't get Shimmy as much, but you're still going to get grabbed a lot. Like, I don't know. I think it's the same kind of thing. There's probably, like, I think Lou kind of fell off when Peacemaker showed up. Low key. But, like, now he's, like, dead. So... When Peacemaker showed up, Lou died, like, straight up. Like, he couldn't play against him. But Peacemaker's, like, completely different now. Actually, I'm probably tweaking. Kenshi's definitely better than Lou. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, uh, Kenshi's probably better. <sighs> let me think, let me think. Like, yeah, if I, if I think about it, Kenshi's probably better than both of them. I don't know. This is where it gets weird, bro. Like, they're all, like, they're all so similar now. Kenshi top two. Okay, bro, you can think he's top two. I don't care, bro. Nah, this is going to be a clip. I'll put this on clip channel for sure. Ermac better than Lou? Yeah. I don't think so, bro. Low key, yeah, I'm actually tripping putting Lou there. Like, he's definitely up there, but I actually think Rain's better than Lou. I'm going to put Rain there for sure. I was tweaking not putting him there earlier. Like, Rain is actually better than Lou. If I, if I really picked, like, who's better, I would say Rain is better. He's got better neutral. Damage is probably better. Um... Throw combo is the same, and he gets safe jump from his throw combo. So I would say in that regard, probably better. His chimmy's better. His setups are better. Like, Rain and Lou are actually very similar. Like, they're almost like kind of the same character low-key. They're very similar characters. But Rain might actually just be a better version of Lou. <laughs> like... Besides the cancels, like, I know Lou doesn't have cancels, but, like, they're actually quite similar. Similar game plan, just the cancels are the only thing different. But Rain is kind of just a better Lou. Best cameo? Still Janet. Where is Janet? There. Still Janet, in my opinion. Yo, my shit's tweaking. Yo, my shit's tweaking. I can't press anything. What the... Oh, cool. Yo, GG's. Did I just lose my tier list? My, my thing just froze. Cool. Oh, we just lost my whole tier list. Yep, I have to close and do it again. You're kidding me, bro. Cool, bro. Hold on. Hold on. Calm down. L streamer, it's my PC, bro. It's not me. Hold on, we gotta make it again. Fuck. Now you gotta explain it all over again? Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay, hold on. Whoops. What did I just do? What the fuck did I just do? Yeah. Oh, I know what I did. Boom. Wait. Boom. Alright, we good. Hold on. Let me get that background back. That shit was fire. There we go. S. Ordered. A. Not ordered. Why did your baby L heal yet? What, dude? Okay, fuck. What was I? What did I even have? Now I forget. Oh yeah, Johnny, Farah, Homelander. Did I have Farah too. Yeah, 
Homeland of Farah, Sindel, Rema. I'm not ringing you on disc because then, then, then my opinion will get skewed. Oh, it's Johnny Cam. Yeah, it was. You're right. You're right. Johnny Chameleon. Uh, what else was there? Tanya Farah. Scorpion Farah. And then Reiko Tremor. Mm. Now, because if I get on, if I get on, uh, if I get on Discord, your opinion will fuck up my opinion, and I don't, I don't want to get it like cooked. Um, and then A or not ordered was Natara Farah. Natara Farah, and we put Rain there instead. Rain, yeah, Rain's best cameo definitely Janet. Rain Janet, and then the Lou, it was Lou Mataro. Honestly, Lou Chameleon's probably better actually, now that I think about it. Oh, I meant to put Tremor. There you go. Nah, nah, just let me go with what I know right now, because it will legit fuck my opinion up. Now, Takeda Sarax is definitely shit. I don't know, let's just say, I don't know. Like, Takeda Sarax is pretty shit, but Takeda Sector is really good because of the low Q9 now. I don't know, I actually think, I think Chameleon could be more consistent. I don't know yet. Um, anyway, okay, so that's why I'm putting Rain there. He's basically like Lou, same kind of game plan as Lou, but just probably more consistent, more damage, scarier. Takeda's best is not Jax, bro. No, it's not. Jax, oh, it's tied. It's tied. Jax, Sector, probably, like, you need a bit of both. But Sector is really fucking good. Trust me. I don't know if you guys have seen, like, the, the future. The vision with, like, the most recent Takeda player from Brazil that's been cooking. He's been playing, uh... He's been playing Takeda's Sector a lot, and it's fucking cheap, bro. Janet and stuff are good, too. Like, they're all pretty good cameos, but I think Sector's the best. Nowadays, I didn't think it before, but when the Luke, the the low kunai, I mean the kunai became a low. That's when it cooked. Oh, I lost my old tier list that I made. Fuck. Cool. Now I actually have to make it all again. All right, Mike, go ahead. You know what? Let's actually let's actually bang out a few low tiers. I think there's only a few true true low tiers in this game. Don't say I'm downplaying. I don't want to hear it. I'm not downplaying. This is facts. Mmm. Don't say I'm downplaying. I don't want to hear it. It's facts. It's facts. Okay. Shang is trash. He is trash, 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 trash. Trust me. You cannot hit people with this character. He's trash. Like, I don't even know how I get a hit with this character ever. I don't know. He's, like, so bad. Um, he's, clo he's so close to being good. That's the thing. Shang is so close to being really good. He just needs, like, one really good buff. Like, something, bro. He just needs something. Like, you know when Shang was really good? Exactly what Javier is saying. VGY almost beat Scorpion Prox with Shang. Okay. One, you said almost, so he didn't even win. Two, Shang was really, really good with the old Cyrax. That's when he was good. If we had old Cyrax, Shang is so good. That's when he was cooking. But right now, nothing's cooking with him in my opinion. Like, Shang Gora is okay. It's okay. It's not a bad team, but I don't love it. Shang Chameleon, same kind of idea. I just don't think anything is too strong... With him, like it's all kind of us, in my opinion. If we had the old Cyrax, we would be cooking, bro. But right now, I just don't think there's any cameo or any reason to play him, especially because of Sub Zero cameo. If your opponent picks Sub cameo, you might as well not play Shang Tsung at all. Like it's literally like the worst matchup already. If they have Sub cameo and you're playing Shang, you're already six four matchup, hundred percent. Doesn't matter what you're playing, it's already like GG, bro. 
Yo, son of death with the raid of one. Yo, who just came from the raid? W. <laughs> Tab me in the chat if you came from the raid. Appreciate you, bro. Dang Mataro could be decent too, but I don't think it's his best. Maybe. You might be onto something, honestly. I really haven't tried Shang Mataro too much. That might actually be a vision. But I would probably say Goro is still his best cameo. Because you actually get combo from Poke Special. You get some good morph setups. Um, honestly, Shang Fair is pretty overrated, trust me. Like, I know I like kind of hyped it up a little bit. Shang Goro is still better, for sure. Shang Fair is actually not that good, <laughs> to be honest. It's really not that good. It's not bad, like it's okay, but Gora is for sure better. Dang Corpse Drop. If they gave him Corpse Drop, it would help. Low Spikes is annoying for sure, yeah. But it's it's got a gap. Um, Right next to Shang. Where is he at? Uh, I would honestly say Havoc is like the same level right now, in my opinion. I think he's... Very, very similar level to Shang. He's honestly probably better than Shang. Like, I think he's actually better, but he definitely still needs a little bit of work, in my opinion. I don't think he's, like, amazing. Like, even Shang and Havoc are, like, okay. Like, they're... I know they're at the bottom of the list right now, but they're, like, they're still, like, okay characters, if that makes sense. Like, they can kind of win a match. Like, they're not, like... Just because they're CT doesn't mean they're literally, like useless not playing at all like not to play at all like you can still win with them a little bit they kind of can do a little bit of source every now and then but like compared to the top it's like really really hard so they're just like pretty trash but they still can kind of work like a tiny bit so that's why they're kind of there having Mavado, yeah it's not bad it's not bad Shang is way better than Havik? No, he's not, bro. Hey, Pass, I guess you've played thousands of games with Shang and Havik. <clears throat> All right. I don't know how I feel about Garrus. Like, I kind of wouldn't put him here, but something in my brain just makes me feel like he's not there. But at the same time, I feel like he kind of is there. It's really weird. Every time I play Garrus, I feel like he's legit terrible. But then when I fight Garrus, I feel like he's pretty decent. So I really don't know. Like... He's probably down here too, to be honest. He's like in the borderline. Can I just put him like in the middle right there? That would be nice. He's probably actually B tier. Actually, he's fucking ass, bro. Like, Loki, actually, he's... No, no, no. If I put Shang and Havik here, I feel like I have to put Garrus here because I feel like he's kind of the same level. He does have some pretty cheap stuff, but overall, it's really expensive. And Loki is probably not helping him that much. Like, he's probably actually better to be here. I don't know. Like, if we're talking highest level, all the matchups locked in, he's probably just as bad as these three. I mean, these two. So, maybe I'm downplaying. Maybe, I'm, I don't know. Like, I really don't even know about Garrus enough to, like, really say. But I've seen a lot of the cheap stuff he can do. But at the same time, like, it hasn't really helped him in tournaments at high level at all. Like, he low-key gets killed every tournament. <laughs> Almost. I mean, most of these characters do, but... I don't know. There's just like no reason to play any of these three characters. There's no reason to play uh, Garrus, Havik, or Shang at all in like high level meta. There's literally no point. Because you just, you're just going to get killed eventually. Like it's just almost impossible to win with one of these three. Sadly. <clears throat> uh, okay, okay. Let me think. All right, we got to put Kenshi in. I haven't even put Kenshi there. Who's better, Rain or Kenshi? I think, I think Rain's better than Kenshi, low-key. Okay, let's put Kenshi in A tier. Right after Rain. I actually think Rain is probably better. Um, matchup chart for Rain is definitely better. More consistent character. We already all know about Kenshi. I don't even need to go into Kenshi. Kenshi is just what he is. We all know how good Kenshi is once Sento's in the corner. But other than that, he's like 
kind of like whatever. He's decent in neutral, but none of it really matters until you're in the sandwich or in the corner, true? Like literally nothing matters with Kenshi. Once he gets the hit and you're in the sandwich or in the corner, then he's like so cheap. But other than that, like he really doesn't matter. I know it only takes like one hit to really get you there, but if we're using the same logic for a lot of these ones, then I would say um, like he's probably somewhere around here. And I'd say his best cameo for sure now is Mavado for sure, I would say. Like I, I don't think there's any reason to play a different cameo with him, to be honest. That's what I would 100% pick with him. It is a pretty dumb design, I agree. Like, if you don't get that hit and get the Sento out, then Kenshi is, like, actually terrible. Um, but, I mean, I guess that's just the way they wanted to go with the, with uh, Kenshi, true? Oh, yeah, we need cameos with these two. I mean, these three. Oh, I already got one. Shane Goro, Havoc... Havoc Jax or Havoc Movado is probably the best, but I've seen some Havoc players also use Scorpion because, like, he has some decent setups there. But, like, if you ask me right now what's the best one, I would probably say it's Movado. But, I don't know. I think it can be Scorpion, Movado, or Jax. Like, I feel like all three of those are good. But I think Movado is probably the best one. I don't know. That's just a weird character, but I would probably say it's Movado. Movado, Scorpion, Jax for sure. And then with Garrus... Bro. There's, like, a hundred cameos that are, like, pretty weird with Garrus. Is it Garrus Tremor? No. Oh no, Garrus Mataro. Garrus Lau. See, like, it's probably Mataro, right? Yeah, yeah. It's probably Mataro for Garrus. Where is Mataro? There he is. Mataro is good. Tremor is good. Lau's good. I think those three are like his best, but yeah, Mataro is probably the most consistent. Average Garrus ranking? True, bro. Okay, okay. Let me look at the roster. Where are we at? Is anyone else... Okay, we should probably put Melina here too. Loki Melina's better than Lou. And might even be better than Kenshi. Like, I don't know. She might even be better than Rain, And she might even be better than Natara. Hold on, hear me out. Hear me out. Nah, the A is not really ordered though. So it's kind of weird. Like, it's, it's kind of ordered. But I'm not really thinking about it too. Melina was C tier. I have never actually genuinely thought that ever. What? Like, I honestly put Melina around the same spot as Kenshi, like somewhere around here too. I think she's really good. I think we've all seen the potential of this character with like some of her best cameos, which is probably Chameleon, Farah, Lau. Like she has quite... The only thing with Melina that she's really missing is like good buttons in neutral for herself, but her up-close game is quite good. Her damage is very, very good. Um... All of her best cameos give her like throw combos or like cheap uh, setups, which are both really strong for her as well. And they always do a lot of damage. Like Melina's got some of the best robbery factor in the game for sure. So I would say Melina with probably... Who's her best cameo now? I don't even know. Like Chameleon's still really strong. Melina Lau's still really strong. Definitely not Scorpion. I don't think it's Sector either as her best. Unless I haven't seen it. I haven't really seen that team that much recently. It's probably... It's probably... Still Lau, honestly. Melina Lau might still be the best for... I don't know. There's a few good cameos for her, but I'll just put Lau there for now. Could be Chameleon or Pharah as well, but I think she's mad good. I honestly think it might be Chameleon too. Yeah, actually. I'm actually on board with that. I'm actually on board with that. I've seen Farrah too. Farrah's really good. It, it probably could be Farrah also. She has like 20 good cameos, bro. Like all the cameos are pretty good with her. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Xiao, I don't know about him yet. Let's leave him for a sec. Oh, nah, I wouldn't put him there yet. Oh, I mean, he's probably around here somewhere. I think for, okay, I'm not going to do the order, but the rest of this tier right now would be like these three. I think that would be it for this. Oh, and Ermac probably. True. Oh wait, and Xia, and Xia, and Xia. Oh Xia. Actually, there's a lot more in this tier. Okay, wait. Let me keep doing the low tiers because then it will like it'll it'll start to get a lot of them. Oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. 
Okay. I mean, is Peacemaker actually this bad still? Honestly. Like, is he really C tier? I don't know, bro. Like, I know he got nerfed, but I actually still, for some reason, feel like he's here. To be honest. Like, I could be down playing. I mean, I could be up playing. But I actually think he's not that bad. Like, Loki, I don't know. Am I tripping? Maybe I'm tripping. He's probably actually pretty bad, but... I don't know. I feel like he's still not that bad. I'm putting him in B tier, yeah. I actually like that. I like that. I don't know. This could be a weird one. Like, he could be C tier, he could be B tier. I really don't even know, but... I haven't seen Peacemaker Pharah enough. I've heard some stories about Peacemaker Pharah, so I'm going to put that there. I'm not really going to go into that one because I don't really know, to be honest. I feel like he's decent, but... Yeah. The Sector Glaze is getting out of hand. Isn't Sector, like, one of the best cameos now, Loki? Like, he's actually pretty insane. All right, I'm putting Katana right next to Melina. I'm putting her right there. She is actually mad good. Katana with what cameo are we talking though? Man, she's got a lot of good cameos for sure. Um, she's got a lot of good cameos. Katana Farah is really good. Katana Chameleon is still really good. Bro, she has like 200 good cameos. Even though there's not 200 cameos in the game. Katana Jax. Katana Janet. Like, yeah, I think by herself she's a pretty honest character. But she has some really, really strong cameo synergy. Um, and she's not too bad by herself. Like, she's decent. So, yeah. I would put her somewhere around here. I would probably say Katana, Chameleon, or Farah the best. But for now, let's just say Chameleon. Because I know, I know more about that one. I know it's more consistent. So, yeah. Also, I think her matchup chart is quite good. True. Like, she probably has a couple annoying ones. But I think her matchup chart is pretty decent. I don't know. I would need to learn. I would need to think about this one more. Probably, I'd probably have to legit like talk to Katana players and see more. Cause I don't. I honestly don't see Katana that much. Like, how much do we really see Katana? It's not that often. But I mean, she is pretty good. I think she's quite a good character. Okay. Now I would be downplaying if I didn't say Ashra was also here. She could float around any of this range. To be honest, like all of these characters kind of could. But I would put Ashra here too, as an Ashra, uh, ex Ashra main. I'm no longer an Ashra main, but I would say she's in that same tier. I honestly am a down player, and I think people think she's like way better than she is. But I also, like, if I'm being honest, she is somewhere around here. She's definitely not top five in my eyes, so that's probably why I'm saying I'm a down player because people think she's up here. I just personally don't see it. Um, now, like, if I'm wrong, fair enough, but like. I don't know. I've played Ashra the most out of any character in this game. And this is probably where I put her. Like, she's good for sure, but I just don't see the top five in it, like, personally. Um, but that's just my opinion. Like, I don't know. I've played her so much, and I feel like sometimes it can be a bit of a struggle. Um, not a struggle, but like, it's not like, it doesn't feel like SS tier. Crazy cheap. Uh, her best cameo still, for sure is chameleon like 100 percent. there's no way it's not um some people are playing other teams now we're seeing more teams come out with her she has a lot of good synergy uh with a lot of cameos but i would say Ashra chameleon is still the best plus cancels uh what plus cancels are we talking about like she has she has what plus plus one cancels Are we in an armor launcher meta? How many characters have armor launchers here that are safe? Okay, let's actually see how many have it. Scorpion, armor launcher, I guess. But like that's like only with Janna if you're like committing. Lau, yeah, Lau's got one. Tanya's got one. Homelander doesn't have one. Johnny kind of has one. I mean... If I'm a, is this really armor launcher meta? Has it not been the same? Like, we've had armor launchers the whole game. I guess it's because Pharaoh, I guess, now, but... Yeah, no, nah, I know Johnny does with Mavaya, so I said sorta. I don't know. I still think Johnny's just mad consistent overall, in my opinion. Maybe I'm up playing, but that's just where I see him. 
I think he's more consistent than a Homelander, or I don't know, Cinder honestly could be top one. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking like safely too. Like there's not that many safe ones. Yeah, Shang has safe armor launcher with Gora, yeah. But it's only good it's only good if you're in young. If you're in old, it's pretty ass. It's not really like it's kind of fake if you're in the old version. Um, okay. Let's keep going, let's keep going. Uh B tier. Raiden's probably here too. Like, I don't think he's A, but some people think he's legit terrible. I don't see it. Um I think, yeah, I think he's B tier. I think Raiden's still like decent. He's not like insane amazing, but I actually think he's like pretty decent. He's honestly bro, like borderline Raiden like might be A, like low key, like I don't know if that's a hot take or not, but like I actually think he's pretty decent then. Like when he got nerfed, people were like kind of like tweaking and saying he's legit dead. I don't know. I think he's all right, but I'm not really sure to be honest. Like curious to see what people think about this one cuz I actually don't know. Like he might actually be A tier. Like he's not that bad to be honest. So right now I'm just going to put him in B, but we might actually change and put him A a bit later when I think about it a bit more. Like, once I put some other characters in. But right now, let's put him A. His best cameo is probably Chameleon and Sector. Like, I see a lot of people playing that. I see a lot of people playing Chameleon. I don't know which one is actually better. I really don't know which one is better. Um, I'll just say Chameleon because that's the one I know most. And I think it's probably... Similar to Sector anyway, so let's just say that, but let's just put him there for now. Raiden Matara is meta. I mean, every character is meta then, I guess. I don't know. I don't know about Raiden. Like, I could be downplaying here. I don't know. Let's just put him here for now. I'm not going to go into it too much, but let's just say that. Uh, Quan, I'm going to put Quan here as well. I actually think Quan is, like, weird, bro. Quan is so weird. Quan is so weird. I'm never putting him here. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not hearing it from a Quan. I mean, I'm not hearing it from any Quan players that he sees here. I'm not hearing it. Like, Loki. Uh, like, I don't think Quan needs anything, bro. Like, I feel like he's actually pretty good. Like, I don't think he's here. Whoops. Loki, like, I almost think he's A, bro. <laughs> like, I almost want to say he's A. I don't know, man. Like, the Quan players are going to come at me with the pitchforks if I say he's A tier, honestly. Like, they're going to start crying right now and, like, getting so mad. But, like... <sighs> right now, he looks weird with all these other characters, though. Like, he does not look that good. So, if I'm being honest, he's probably actually here. Like, truly think about the meta. Like, he's probably actually there. Like... Like, truly think about the meta. He's probably actually there. Like, he's not here. Probably actually here, because... His best teams have terrible health, and the best characters in the game, almost all of them play Pharaoh or Tremor, which is like pretty big difference. I know Janet is like a good team for him too, but I don't know. Like, is Quan really competing with a Johnny's, with the Johnny's, with the Tanya's? I don't know, bro. I feel like he's getting cooked. I feel like he's getting cooked in this in this meta right now, bad. Like Loki. So, I'll probably put him there. Just because, like, he has some terrible matchups, Loki. But, he does have some pretty cheap stuff. I think. So, I think he's actually pretty good. He destroys Homelander? Really? Holy shit. Wow. I didn't even know that. Nice. Where are you putting Barack? I don't know yet. Havoc with Movado? Hey, man. Where are the Havoc players? Tell me. Who are we playing with Havoc? Tremor? I don't fucking know. Scorpion. I mean, does it even matter? Like, he's still gonna be in the same spot. Like, who cares? Facts. Like, does it even matter? <laughs> I don't care what cameo, I'm not moving him anyway. 
What do you mean? I've got Homeland Affair top two right there. Yes, I've played against it. I've played against it. It's cheap as fuck, I know. BGY, hear me out, bro. Hear me out, bro. Trust. Just hear me out. I just haven't put Lau on the list yet, Bookworm, that's all. Oh, sir. Here come the Johnny players. Here they come. Okay, am I tweaking besides top one? <laughs> I mean, I mean, sorry. Am I cooking besides top one? Let me hear the feedback right now. Let's hear the feedback. Am I up playing Johnny? True, 900. Look, boys, I can't, I can't please everyone, all right? I'm just saying if you put me in a tournament with the best of all of these, I don't know. I just feel like this is cooking, true. This is like low-key cooking. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Maybe I'm not... I haven't been watching any tournaments. Maybe I'm not tapped in. Anyway, I'm going to leave it like this for now anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's my list. Shut the fuck up, Johnny Players. This is my list. My bad, my bad. Um. Anyway, anyway. Homeland is better than Johnny, apart from this list. It looks good. So you guys think we should have swapped these? Like, I said this when I first made it. Like, if you look at this right now, it looks probably, like, weird. But, like, low-key, these three, you could just, like... These four, even, you could just, like, move them around. And, like, it would kind of still make sense in my head. To be honest. Like, if you swapped any of these four around, maybe besides Tanya top one, I would be like, yeah, fair enough. Like, ordering them is so hard because I feel like they're all pretty much the same in my eyes. What do you mean? I just said, look at the Tanya play. What do you mean, look at the Tanya play? I just said she's top, she could be easily top three. Then why did both Evo finalists swap off Homelander for Johnny? Mmm. Nah, I'm kidding. That was before Pharaoh cameo existed, so. <laughs> okay, I don't care. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. <sighs> Let me look. Okay, we've got to put Lau in here too, for sure. This part isn't ordered, by the way. So, like, Lau is definitely in this list, um, for sure, in my opinion. And I'm just going to put Ermac in there right now too. Um, because I think they're both in there, for sure. Do I even need to go into these two? Like, really? Let's actually think about this. Lao... Lao's doing the same shit he's been doing for, like, the whole game's release. Like, he's still pretty much doing the same thing. Um, very strong character. The only thing I guess is, like, his buttons are terrible by himself, but he's designed to be a Russian character anyway. Um, I don't know. He's, like, one of the best Russian characters kind of in the game, to be honest. The only thing I guess he's missing is, like, a good throw combo. But it depends, like, what cameo you're playing. I don't know, like, I just think he's pretty good. I don't think he's, like, crazy. Like, he wouldn't be up here. I couldn't see him ever being up here. I don't know about his matchup chart. Like, does he have any really bad matchups? I don't know, maybe. There's probably some matchups out there that are, like, super annoying. But, yeah, I think he's a good... I think he's a great character. Good armor. Armor launcher. Does a lot of damage. Um, In some matchups, he's a real piece of shit and really cooks. Like, some matchups, he's just, like, killing you. Um... But yeah, I think he's pretty good. For sure, I would still say Gora is probably still his best. But I actually think Gora is really good. Janet's really good. Movado is really good. I haven't seen any Lao Fero, so I don't even know anything about that team. So but there might be something there, but I haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, I would say probably still Gora is like the most consistent. But I really like Lao Movado. Oh, and Lao Sonya. Lao Sonya also really good. But like... I don't know. If I was just picking one, I'd probably just pick Goro. I guess. I guess Lao Goro is still his best team. I don't know. Like, there's a few good cameos for him now. Lao Sonya is really, really good also. Um, Ermac. Ermac's a bit of a weird one. We don't see him that much, but I think he's pretty strong. The only thing that's missing with him is his armor's, like, kind of ass because it's high. But the rest, like, really good. His buttons are great. Neutral's pretty decent because, like, he has a lot of, like, weird mobility and stuff. And, um, 
The Spartans are actually pretty good in neutral too. He has like good range. Down four. Um, back two is pretty good. Stand one. I mean, stand two is really good. Jake, like, what are you like tweaking about, bro? I said the only thing he has is his wake up. The only thing that's bad about him is his wake ups are high. That's also bad about Natara. It's also bad about. That's a weakness to a wake up attack. That's facts. I'm not. That doesn't mean anything. Like, why are you tweaking? Holy shit. Like, that doesn't mean it's. I'm just saying it's a weaker wake up attack if it's a high. That's facts. Um, man, I've been seeing so many cameos with. Um, I've been seeing so many different cameos with Ermac. I've seen a lot of different cameos. I don't even know what the best is anymore. Like, I still think Janet is the best, but I've seen a lot of Ermac Lau recently. That looks pretty good. I've seen some Ermac Cyrax. I've seen a lot of different teams with him, but I would probably say Janet is still the best. Probably. Because you get the best throw combo. You get the Nut Punch Restand, which is great for Ermac. He gets the Float combos in the corner, which are really good. I would say it's probably his best. And I think it's actually really strong. And I think Ermac by himself is a great character as well. So, yeah, I think Ermac's perfect right there. Um, okay, let's keep going. Xiao, Xiao's also here. He's somewhere floating around here. Remember, this part's not ordered. So I'm going to put Xiao... I'm just going to put him like... I'm just going to put him like right here, to be honest. Like, Xiao for sure is up here. Quite a strong character. Some of the best robbery in the game. Best mix in the game. So scary, this character. He always has a lot of health as well. With, like, most of his best teams. Neutral is quite good. His standing 2 is amazing. His armor move is weird. Because I know I just said Ermax wake ups are high. But, like, Xiao's is, like, kind of good. Because it helps you in a lot of situations that give you a launcher. But... Um, bottom eyes itchy. So, yeah, I think Xiao's like he's weird. Like, I don't think he's crazy, crazy, but he's pretty good. Uh, the only thing I guess with Xiao is like you can get mashed on pretty hard, which is a little bit annoying. That's probably the only thing with Xiao where it's like kind of ass. Other than that, though, it's really good. Um, and his best cameo, I guess, is probably still Chameleon in my eyes. Maybe Pharah now, but I actually still think this is the best, to be honest. Like. I don't know. Shout plays. Let me know in the chat how you guys feel. But I think Chameleon is probably still his best. Like, there's just too much synergy with Chameleon, true? Ashra is that good. Don't downplay, please. People think Ashra is top 5, Luna. You want me to do the real... This is what most people really think about Ashra right here. You really want me to do that? I'm already getting... I'm already downplaying. I'm already getting called a down player for this placement, all right? All right. Omni-Man, Baraka, Lee Mei. Man, we got some weird ones left. We got... Oh, I didn't put a chameleon, uh, cameo with Quan. Quan Chi's best cameo is honestly like Chameleon or Janet. I don't even know. Like, it's one of them. Uh, some Quan players say it's Chameleon. But Janet's really good too. Tremor's really good. It's probably Janet, honestly. Yeah, it's probably Janet. Because a lot of the conversions are really good. I could see it being a lot of cameos, but because of the health too, like Janet or Tremor might be better than Chameleon. Because you just have like too much of a health deficit with Chameleon. Definitely not Frost. <coughs> uh, okay. Let me look. Let me look. Sub Zero. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't even want to do the rest of the roster, bro. Can we just delete these characters right now? Can we just delete these characters right now? <sighs> you know what? I'm going to do this one right now. Am I cooking? Am I cooking? Or, I, or am I cooked? <laughs> am I cooking or am I cooked with this one? Reptile and A tier? Facts. Facts, bro. Facts. Yes, I agree. Only with Mavado, I agree. Um, but yeah, I actually think Reptile... There's no way he's worse... I mean, he's the same as these characters. No chance. He's probably, like, on the lower end of A, but, like, he's low-key pretty good in my eyes. 
I actually think Reptile, after playing him a lot, I actually think now he's pretty good. He's on the lower side of A, I think, for sure. But, like, I actually think he's really good. Sweep combos are insane. Um, all of his conversions are really strong with Movado. Throw combo. The setup in the corner with, like, EX Invis is really good. Like, yeah, this character is quite good, man. I think he's quite good. The only thing that kind of sucks about Reptile is his gaps. Like, the only thing that sucks. Like, his gaps are definitely annoying, for sure. Um, but other than that, man, he's, like, really good. Am I going to order A tier? Mm, I don't think so. It's too hard. It's too hard. His armor's a little bit ass. Yeah, his armor is a little ass, low-key. It's not amazing. It's definitely one of the weaker armor attacks, but it's okay. It's probably not, like, the worst. Nah, trust, bro. Quan is here. Trust. Reptile's armor is not so ass. This is a, this character has armor that is so ass. Okay, Lee May. Ooh, bro. Like, I honestly feel like all of these characters are A tier almost. I honestly feel like all these characters are A tier almost. I don't see any of them being B tier at this point. Honestly. I just don't see it. Nah, you guys haven't seen the Takeda vision, bro. You guys haven't seen September Takeda. We low-key need another tier. We need like an A minus. Do we? Do we? Is it not just this from this? Is it not from this point just like this? Is this not just the list from this point? <laughs> like honestly. Like honestly. Like... Like, we probably need, like, a little A-, minus. like... An A- minus tier might actually make sense here. Or we do S+, plus, S+, plus and S. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Like, now nah, these characters are definitely weaker than the rest. So we... But they're better than these... But they're better than these characters. So I think we need one more tier. Maybe we make this A+. Plus. This is actually what we do, I think. A+. Plus. And then we make an A tier. Mm, how do I make another tier? Can I do that? Oh. Yeah, that's how we do it. Ooh. Ooh. A. Okay, that, that makes me feel a lot better. Now, to me, this feels right. Like this. Boom. 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 All six. I'm just putting them all there right now. I don't care. That actually feels right to me. Honestly. It's actually how I feel right here. Genuinely. This is how I actually feel. This is how I truly feel right now. I actually think Reptile is better than Baraka. Honestly, I do. My cam's in the way? Oh, shit. Oh, true. I gotta zoom it out. Hold on. E there we go. Nah, I see. I honestly think Reptile is on the lower. Like, actually, this might be ordered now. I don't even need to write not ordered. Like, low key. Okay, let me actually order A plus. Okay, let me actually order A plus. Hold on. I'm not changing Reptile. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not moving Reptile. I don't care. Okay, let's actually try order this. Hold on. Let me go through these quickly. Baraka. I mean, Baraka Loki is here too, no? Baraka's actually A+, plus, no? He's not even a bad character at all. Why am I downplaying? Why am I downplaying? I'm downplaying Baraka, facts. I'm actually downplaying Baraka. Sure. 
Barack is dumb as fuck. I don't care. I'm downplaying him. Barack is actually mad good. If Reptile's here, Barack is here. Facts. If, Re if Ermac's here, Barack is here. True. Mmm. Yep. I don't care. I'm doing it. Baraka. I don't know who his best cameo is. I actually don't even know. Like, is it Chameleon? Is it, like, still Kano? It's probably still Kano. Honestly. Jax as well. Oh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Nah, I don't think Smoke's better than Reptile. I honestly don't. No rage bait, bro. Look, if your feelings are getting hurt by this tier list, that's fine. That's how it is. I'm gonna say Baraka Kano is probably still his best. Yeah, there we go. Uh okay, let me look at it. let's let's try and like narrow it down a little bit more. Let's see. Loki Raiden here. Low-key Raiden's here. Raiden is not B. I'm tweaking. It, now that we have another tier, low-key Raiden is here. He is not that... He is nowhere... He's really, like, almost the same as some of them. Like, low-key, bro. Now that we have another tier, I'm putting Raiden there. Honestly, like... <sighs> Facts. Uh, okay, let's see. Hair needs to be in B. Nah, bro, you don't know the vision yet. Javier, I'm not gonna lie. Javier, I'm gonna keep it. Javier, like, you know we're friends, right, Javier? Like, we're friends. You know, like, I love you, bro. I'm gonna be honest. I've seen your Takeda yesterday. For the next 24 hours, no, for the next week, we will not be taking any opinions on your Takeda. I mean, on Takeda. Javier, I'm, I'm gonna need you to see the vision first, okay? <laughs> Whoa! Jack with the 500 bits! Whoa! Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Look, Javier is the best Scorpion in the world. I'm not, I'll glaze that Scorpion all day, but that Takeda was some ass. So, I think you need to see the vision more, I believe. Bro, some people are putting Takeda up here. Like, Javier, you taking that? Look, I gave Javier money for the money match. Like, we're good. Javier knows I'm just trolling anyway. I actually like this placement. I like these placements for all of them. I actually like where this list is at right now. I actually really like this list. Let's just go through these characters. Like, I actually think this is pretty nice. Let me see if I can order this a little bit better, though. Let me see if I can order this a little bit better. Is Natara this spot? Okay, let me see. I'm gonna move Xiao up a little bit though. I'm gonna move Xiao up a little bit. I think all these are pretty fair in order ish. I like this. Katana actually better than Melina, I think. Rain. Nah, I, I like this. I honestly like this a lot. I honestly like this a lot. I'm pretty happy with how this looks. The only thing I'm gonna get cooked for for sure is the top one. True, three inches if you sub. W plug. Like, I'll be honest, I'm I'm prepared to get cooked for this one. I'm prepared for it. Like, go ahead. I understand. Um, let me do the cameos for A tier real quick. A tier cameos. Lee Mei Movado, that's her best cameo. Really strong. You get some really good conversions. Overhead, EX overhead is a full combo. Um good pressure if they don't armor the gap. So you have a lot of mind games with Movado. Full screen conversions with Movado as well. Just for sure, really good cameo. Insane damage, 45% off of your one bar conversions. Very, very strong cameo for her. Um, amazing. Smoke, I've seen a lot of smoke cameos. I don't even know which one's the best. I promise you, I can't even tell you. Yo, Yobs with the Prime. Thank you, bro. Look, the Homelander top one, con this is going to be controversial, I know. I'm probably tweaking with the Homelander one. You know what? Okay. I'll cave on one. I'll cave on one. 
I think I was actually tweaking a little bit. I, I, I might be tweaking on this one. I have not caved the entire tier list, but I will cave on top one and say this is actually probably wrong. I was probably wrong there. I'll admit. I'm going to fold on that one. I'm not going to lie. I'm folding. Because I actually... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I struggle way more against Home Homelander than I do Johnny. So I'm probably tweaking a little bit, but... I'm going to say they're very close. Like, if not tied. But just for the uh, aesthetic, let's just put Homelander first. Haha. <laughs> I'm not folding on Quan Chi. This is where I truly think he is. Um, okay, smoke cameo. I really don't know. Yo, Jack with the gifted. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, bro. Yo, Bihan, enjoy that white hairline emote. Nah, Darry. The Sonic played uh, Johnny against only against Johnny and um, Barra didn't exist yet. Vera didn't exist yet. Why I don't think Kenji's S? Um, because he's only good once Sento's out. If you survive the Sento or if you punish Sento, um, he's terrible. He's a terrible character once Sento's gone, if he's in that stance. He's not that scary without Sento. He has a lot of bad matchups. Like, he low-key loses to, like, all of these S-tier characters right here, to be honest. <laughs> Or, and more. He loses to like at least 10 characters, honestly. Like his matchup chart is ass. You can also change the Scorpion placement. Aha. Uh -huh. Good try, bro. Good try. Um. Mo Cameo, I really don't even know. I'll just say purely if I was just guessing, because I really have no idea. It's probably like Goro, honestly. Jake, you're more than welcome to make your own tier list. And you can make a video. I'll watch it. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know who the best cameo for Smoke is these days. But I see a lot of Smoke Goro. It's like one of the more, like, strong ones that I see. Smoke Sub is really good. Like, can we just put, like, 20 cameos on Smoke? Because I really don't know. Like, let's just pretend this, like, little placement doesn't matter for Smoke. Because I, I genuinely don't know which cameo is his best. Chameleon? The fuck? I don't know. I don't know what his best cameo is. I'm just going to put loud because that's the one I always play. I don't even know. Like, let's just pretend this cameo is like, okay, I don't know, bro. Loki downplaying Omni Man? I might be. Honestly, like, you might be woke on the Omni Man one. Because if I look at all the other characters up there, Wait, Q might be onto something. Is this actually woke? Wait, this might be woke. Garrett's here? Oh, might be woke, bro. Crazio, Crazio. Bro, like, firstly, like, why are you getting so worked up over a tier list, my brother? Like, it's just a tier list on the screen, bro. Like, look at your messages. Like, you're tweaking. Hold on. Like, all caps. Like, bro, it's okay. Are you okay, bro? Like, it's not that serious. It's all just clickbait, bro. Come on. Like, who actually cares? Like, true. Like, it ain't that deep. Please trust me. PM is C tier. And what character do you play the most? What character do you play the most? Ah, <laughs> uh, we caught him. Caught him in 4k. Okay. Um, Cicada, his best cameo is Sector 100%. I think Jax is a tie, but I think Sector is actually scarier right now, in my opinion. Cyrax is pointless with him. Don't play Cyrax with him. It's just Jax and Sector, in my opinion now. And Janet, too, actually, is pretty good. But if I was picking one cameo, Sector 100%. Um, it's hard to even... I'm not downplaying Ermac. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. 
it's kind of hard for me to really like explain to Kato right now because it's pretty recent when the cameo not the cameo the kunai got buffed so like i don't think we're really seeing the vision just yet i would need to really like show you guys the vision kind of hard to fully explain it but if you want to see good takeda look up lavender rain takeda like just look him up and watch what he's doing with takeda it's actually really cheap now um there's a lot of really good stuff with that low kunai he's honestly going to go up in the tier list like in a month or two watch he's going to be like up here trust but right now because i think his defense is still terrible and he has some pretty bad gaps which is kind of similar to most of these characters that's why i'm putting him here Omni Lao actually might be. I mean, Omni Man might actually be here, bro. Depends how long it is, Jake. I would actually low key, but. Uh, Sub Zero. The only reason I'm putting him here is because of his damage. Everything else is really good. If he had more damage, he would be 100% up here. But I just personally think the only thing is the damage. Um, but I literally think everything else about Sub Zero is amazing. I don't want to hear anything else besides the damage. Any Sub-Zero player that complains about his character besides damage is wrong. It's literally just his damage in my opinion. Everything else is amazing. Um, and his best cameo is still Chameleon, for sure. Um, but he's actually a pretty decent character. Anyone that thinks his character's ass, like, you're just tweaking, I'm not gonna lie. Like, he's pretty fucking good. Um, the only thing is his damage is weak, which I 100% agree. Um, Omni-Man... Am I up? Am I downplaying Omni? Like if Reptiles there is Omni here, mm, I'm probably downplaying. I'm actually downplaying. I think. I think I'm actually downplaying Omni Man, because he should probably be in the same tier at the end somewhere, like somewhere around here. Honestly, like he's pretty good, man. I don't know why I've been brainwashed to think he's like not that good, but he's actually like pretty scary. And if Reptile's here, then I feel like it makes sense for Omni to be there. Like, somewhere around here. Um, and I would say, man, he right now, like... Omni Pharah is really good. Omni Mavado is really good, but I'd say Pharah is probably the best. So I actually like that. I like that spot. Okay, let me see my order. Is there anything I personally feel like I should change right now? Crazio, go touch some grass, bro. Calm the fuck down. It's ordered. It's ordered. Look. This is the first six. This is top ten. Reptile is still nine. Wait. One. Oh no, no, no. Six. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I'm putting Kenshi as eight, oh no, as nine, he's still ten characters behind. I'm saying Reptile's bottom nineteen. I'm saying Reptile's bottom nineteen. Top nineteen. And you're squealing in the chat. Like, holy. Like, holy tweaking. Alright. I don't think I need to say anything else. Be honest, what do you guys think of the list? Out of 10. Out of 10, rate it in the chat right now. I want feedback. Let's hear it. You can cook me if you want. I don't care. Just be honest. Let's see what you guys think. Out of 10 list. Let me hear it. Rate it out of 10. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Eight, seven, seven, eight, six, ooh, eight, nine out of ten low key. Eight out of ten, nine out of ten, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm not getting fried too bad. The thing with like saying out of ten is like, if I put your character in the wrong spot, you're making this like a six out of ten or a seven out of ten. <laughs> Like, if I say, like, if you're, if you're a, a reptile player, no, no. If you're, like, a, mm, someone of these, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. But, yeah, this is where I honestly think right now, this is where I put the game. The game's about to change a lot in, like, 20 days. So, I thought, why not make a tier list one time for the update? This is where I think it is right now. I'm very curious to see how this changes in the next, like, month, though. We'll have to do another one like a month after the update uh, to see where we're really at. But honestly, even though there's like a few characters that are in the lower tiers, I think anything from like A onwards can win a tournament. And even the B and C like technically can. 
Like, it's possible. But it's, like, so hard. And then with the A, it's, like, a little bit difficult. A plus and S can all win a tournament. Like, low-key. Like, they can all just win almost by themselves. Maybe you need a secondary if you're A plus. A, you're going to be struggling a bit. B, you're definitely struggling. And C, you're just, like, sweating, like, really, really 24-7 to get a win. That's how I see it, at least. Or, like, to win a tournament. That's kind of, like, the way I'm, like, tearing it up. But, like, S, S ordered... The S tier, you can pretty much just win with only them, in my opinion. I don't know. But that, that's probably where I see it. All right, chat. <laughs> w segment. W, w milk of that tier list. W milk 